today we're going to be making a corn chowder and I'm going to put some crab in it but that's going to be optional if you do not like crab. So to start out we're going to use a, a whole pound of bacon and I've cut it up in a just really small uh, pieces and I'm going to saute these onions. Uh, there's two onions with it so I just uh, bacon's really small. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on and let that start sauteing. So we're gonna need that grease from that. Now also with this recipe, you're gonna need three to four red or Yukon gold potatoes. And mine were fairly large, so I'm gonna start with three and we're gonna see how that does. I may go ahead and put that in because I'm gonna be feeding five people. So we want to make sure that there's enough and I have a general rule of what I like about a potato per person. So I think I'll do four. Um, some uh, chicken uh, bouillon or uh, stock or whatever you have on hand. Of course your corn. And I like to use either corn out of our garden, which we are pretty much out of. We've already used it all. So I went and I bought sweet corn. Okay, that's really what you want is sweet corn. And you'll need about two cups of that, two to two and a half cups. Just kind of, the thickness of your soup is gonna be up to you. So if you want two, two and a half cups, or if you want three cups, if you want five potatoes, or if you want four potatoes, it's just really what you have on hand. And then also I de-seeded two jalapeno um, peppers. That's optional too. You don't have to put that in there, but I like to put a little spice in there. And then to uh, make it creamy, we are going to use um, some heavy whipping cream. And I've just got a little, a little container. You can use half and half if you want, or you can just use milk. And uh, it's really, this is simple, simple, simple. You can just use what you got. If you don't have half and half, or if you don't have heavy whipping cream, use milk and maybe some um, cream cheese or a little bit of sour cream or, um, and then to make it thick, you can make your slurry with your um, flour and water or your uh, cornstarch and water. So it's, it's very, but I'm gonna show you the way I like to do mine. And the uh, first thing I've got to do is get these, this bacon and these onions just fairly tender, okay? You don't want to uh, to brown them because we want a savory. We don't want a sweet. All right, and these are just regular white onions. So I'm going to go ahead and cook up my bacon and um, get my onions translucent and we'll be back. Okay, my bacon and my onions are cooking, and this must be a very lean bacon. So I'm going to put half of a stick of butter in there because we need some um, some oil to that or grease so we can make our um, root. We put our flour in. And I did go ahead and cut up that other potato. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my potatoes and my peppers in my big pot. And I'm dropping. Dropping a potato. Put that away. Okay. We'll have our butter melt in there. It's doing that. As soon as that butter melts, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Um, let that stop. I'm going to add everything to my pot. And then I will start making the, the root. And it's almost there. celery in this if you want to. My daughter-in-law does not like celery, so I'm not going to put celery in it today. 
but celery is something that you can definitely add. Okay, let me go ahead and pour this in here. And then I'm going to add, let me turn my light on. I'm gonna add um, about a fourth of a cup of flour. And I'm gonna move you over here so y'all can see. I'm gonna go ahead and put my flour in my fourth of a cup of flour. And then I'm gonna move you over here. Okay, we've got our flour in there and we we're just gonna start uh, We've got our fire going and we're just going to stir that around and it's going to be kind of clumpy, but that's the way you do it. So we're going to kind of keep stirring this and cooking this for about a minute till we get that flour taste out. Okay, it's been about a minute. And don't worry if uh, some of it kind of starts um, sticking to the bottom because when you pour in your chicken broth, we're going to use this whole carton of chicken broth. When we pour that in, it pretty much deglazes the pot. Okay, I think that's been a good minute. So, let's go ahead and pour it in. And I like to pour in a little bit, kind of about a third of it at a time. And just give it a good stir. Okay, pour another third or so in. It's pretty much deglazed the pot, so that's wonderful. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pour the rest in. And we want to bring this to a good, to a, uh, you know, a soft boil. And we're going to let that go until our potatoes start getting just fork tender, not mushy, okay? You just want them fork tender. Let me show you how this looks again. Okay, here we are. And see how it's just kind of runny? That's gonna thicken up as it cooks. Okay, so don't worry about that. We're gonna get those potatoes fork tender. Okay, I put a lid over my deal and it's it's been boiling for a little while. I would say the potatoes are almost done. And it is thickening. It's, uh, let me show you. Okay, see how that's, it's starting to thicken? And it will continue to thicken because it's got potatoes. So at this point, I wanna add some milk. We're gonna add three cups. Add your milk slowly so it doesn't curl. Two cups, let's do a third. This is just regular whole milk. We'll let that come back up to a boil and the potatoes should be about fork tender at that point. And we'll add our corn. Can't find my pay, uh, lid, so I'm just using the pizza pan. <laughs> okay, before it does come to a boil, I'm going to add some red pepper. You can also use cayenne pepper, and um, that's pretty much optional too. I like it, just it doesn't make it hot, it doesn't make it spicy, it just makes it have a little tiny, just a little boost, okay? And I would say, I just added a few dashes. And then I'm going to add some garlic powder too. Okay, 
Okay, our potatoes are fork tender. So we're gonna go ahead and add our corn. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna start off with two cups and I'm gonna see how that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and do half of it, two and a half cups. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another half of a cup in. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. You could use white pepper if you want, but the pepper flakes don't bother me. So I'm just gonna use regular pepper. And of course your salt. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a quart of my cream. I did taste a little spoon of it, and it's very, very good. It's actually already creamy, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this whole thing in, just cause it'll make it better. Okay, let me let y'all see. Okay, here we go with our, with our corn chowder. We're going to leave it uncovered now and let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, this has been simmering for um, about 15 minutes and it's done. And so, see, it's just a perfect consistency. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the crab now. Okay, and I just, the, the if you don't wanna use meat crab or whatever, you don't have to, but I just got the lump crab. We don't live on the coast, so we can't get the, um, Fresh. Hang on, I forgot to take that film off the top. Oh, you would. Always take that out. And this just has the, it's the big lump. Okay, we're gonna stir that in and then it'll be ready to eat. Okay, we got us a bread bowl and we're going to make us a little bowl of it. It's cold here in Texas, so this is going to hit the spot. And of course you wanna garnish it. You can either garnish it with more lump crab or you can garnish it with a little cheese or you can garnish it with maybe a little bit of a uh, parsley like I'm gonna do. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I'm so excited to try it. Let me get this spoon. Mm. It's good. You can taste the bacon. You can taste the crab. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Um, I did see seed my jalapenos, but they still are maybe a bit a little bit spicy. Mmm. It is so good. Look at that. I think it's going to be a hit on this cold night. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining us. And until next time, keep looking to the east. Bye.